transition from years of confinement in a maximum security prison to being here before the representatives of 46 nations and 700 million people is a profound and a surreal shift. The experience of isolation for years in a small cell is difficult to convey. It strips away one's sense of self, leaving only the raw essence of existence. I am yet not fully equipped to speak about what I have endured, <clears throat> the relentless struggle to stay alive, both physically and mentally, nor can I speak yet about the deaths by hanging, murder and medical neglect of my fellow prisoners. I apologise in advance if my words falter or if my presentation lacks the polish you might expect from such a distinguished forum. Isolation has taken its toll, <clears throat> which I am trying to unwind, and expressing myself in this setting is a challenge. I eventually chose freedom over unrealisable justice after being detained for years and facing a 175-year sentence with no effective remedy. Justice, for me, is now precluded as the US government insisted in writing into its plea agreement that I cannot file a case at the European Court of Human Rights or even a Freedom of Information Act request over what it did to me as a result of its extradition request. I want to be totally clear. I am not free today because the system worked. I am free today after years of incarceration because I pled guilty to journalism. I pled guilty to seeking information from a source. I pled guilty to obtaining information from a source. And I pled guilty to informing the public what that information was. <clears throat> I did not plead guilty to anything else. I hope my testimony today can serve to highlight the, weakness, the weaknesses of the existing safeguards and to help those whose cases are less visible but who are equally vulnerable. My readaptation to the world, of course, includes some positive but still tricky things becoming a father again to children who have grown up without me, becoming a husband again, even dealing with a mother-in-law. <laughs> These are trying family issues.